Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum and welcome to another lecture on tool and die design. We are on module 3 that is design of stamping dies or design of sheet metal dies. In second lecture in this module we are going to discuss design of sheet metal cutting dies. At the end of this lecture you should be able to understand the basic principles of tooling design for sheet metal parts made by cutting action. They include the types of scrap strip layout and its role in the die design, the clearance between punch and die, and the general rules of punch and die design based on clearance, the cutting forces that are required to perform a certain cutting operation. We will also discuss sheet metal cutting operations other than standard operations and the types of dies used in sheet metal cutting operations. So first we will discuss some basics of sheet metal cutting. Just as a recall that sheet metal working operations are one of two types of metal forming operations or metal deformation operations. And today we are going to focus on shearing processes. There are three principal operations in press working that cut the sheet metal. They are shearing or simple cutting, blanking, and punching. Punching is also called piercing operation. So first we will discuss shearing or simple cutting. Sheet metal cutting operation along a straight line between two cutting edges is called shearing. It is typically used to cut large sheets into smaller sections for subsequent press working operations. So as we have already discussed that uh, the sheet is the product of rolling. So as a, uh, as a result of the rolling process, we have long rolls of sheets that are available. So those long sheets are cut into smaller lengths based on certain requirement. Uh, just like large pieces of fabric, that are produced in a textile industry are cut into smaller lengths uh, based on the requirements and those smaller lengths are further used to to make uh, apparel or other wearable so similarly the long sheets are cut into smaller sheets using this shearing process so we, we require a shearing punch a die and of course a certain force is applied by this punch so you could notice that there is an angle that is ground onto, uh, onto the punch. So that is called shear angle. So this angle actually reduces the cutting forces required to, to cut the uh, long sheet into smaller pieces. And there needs to be a certain, certain clearance between punch and die that we'll, we will discuss later in this lecture. Uh, then we have two more operations that fall under sheet metal cutting operations. So they are blanking and punching. In blanking, the uh, sh sheet metal is cut to separate piece called a blank from the surrounding stock. And in punching or piercing, uh, it is similar to blanking except that the cut piece is scrap that is also called slug and remaining stock is the desired part. So we had a strip of the sheet and we cut certain piece out of it and the piece that is removed is the required part. So that is the blanking operation. And we had this blank and we removed a circular a piece out of it that is called scrap or slug and the remaining a piece is the required part. So that is the punching operation. So the result of the blanking operation is the workpiece uh, that is called the blank and that of piercing is scrap that is also called uh, slug. So in this case, I, as you would notice that apparently the operations uh, seem very similar, the blanking and punching seem very similar but the purpose is different. So if whatever we are removing is the required part and what remains is discarded or it is scrap then operation is called blanking 
and if we are um, uh, what we are removing is discarded and what remains is the required part then this operation is called punching so again the material removed is the workpiece so it is blanking and what remains with the workpiece it is punching so first in order to make keys so we made first this perimeter of the key so that operation is blanking that is used here and then out of this piece that was removed we removed a circular portion in this form so that operation would be piercing or punching so this boundary of the key is made made using blanking and this hole is made using punching or piercing operation 